Yo, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Definitely Not Fried Chicken Inc. Now, since last episode, we uh, let some uh, money roll in. We're at a good $16,000 now. So we're in time to start expanding into our next product line. Uh, remember in the last episode, I actually purchased the toasties, the toasted cannabis. So we're going to start building that today. Um, my, as you notice, I've read organize the vehicles but I'm gonna switch this out to this and then we're gonna set these two vehicles since they're the delivery vehicles to the fronts these are just my normal delivery vehicles so I want one running just basic and one running the new toasted once it's active so let's get everything up and running um, first and foremost let's purchase this plot of land up here for the sole purpose of moving everything so let's purchase that lot. There we go. Then first, before we do anything else, let's start building some hallways. I want one going here. And one going this way. Done. And then we're going to remove. I'll let you finish in that room. Thank you. And then before we do anything, because we're going to have to move that door. Let's start stacking these machines. Mm. We'll save that for now. There we go. We got two arcade machines either way. Back. And then we'll add a second door right here. That way they can get in and out really quickly through these rooms. And then we'll add those two doors in. Kitchen. I believe the kitchen was seven out. Four, five, six, seven. All right. Our measurements are right. One, two, three. Food eating tables. Chopping block right there. So, um, the stove right in between. That way they can go food, stove, chopping block. Unfortunately, it's going to be. <laughs> For the other people, it's going to be slower, sadly. But it is what it is, actually. Even better. Move the coffee maker over one and put the microwave over another. This one that way they can go from fridge to microwave as well. Okay, so that's good there. And the bathroom, I believe, was also seven out. So and bigger. <laughs> this is hallway. We're going to expand out a bit for the storage room, too. There we go. Mm. Back. Let's take that area, too. They won't have a hallway. They'll have a smaller hallway. That's what they'll have. But they don't need much room here. So... Let's just put my shelves in. Eventually, we'll move everything else over here. Okay, back to the staff bathroom. Program these little guys to just be toasted. Mm. 
I have that set up. Uh, I just realized they don't have a hallway, so... That will be their hallway right there. Now expand out a bit. That should be good. All right. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to reconsolidate this place a bit. Trying to get these lined up just right. Oh, we need some heat for cannabis over here. Okay. Why not? Let's get a, a second uh, cutter out so I can program that too. These need heaters. And he's another heater. Okay. The drying and cutting facilities are good. Get another door. There you go. The more doors for them to enter, the better it is. Okay, so now toasted need a specific layout. I gotta remember what that layout is. Need you guys to make me a little more money while we plan everything else out. So remember, there should be a gap in between these two because it's two groups of two. Da, 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 da. Okay. Sorry, bud. So much money. Not 16,000 was enough, but it looks like we need a little bit more. This is only half the room, so. We got any deliveries we can do. Uh, no deliveries yet. Yeah, we're just going to jump into the future when I have a little bit more money. Alrighty, we are back. Let's see here. So let's focus on lighting because I know we have a group of two. Um, so I like making some room here with these, um, upper lights. Let's put one there and one there. And pop that down to two. So, okay, no one's three, this one's two. So this one's 
Oh, that one's five. Okay. So we will need to expand this out one more. Got it. So let's build another line. Then we'll add some more toasted lines right here. And the AOE emitters. And then this last one right here. Down to four. There we go. So we got our toasted up and running to give us three star toasted. Um, let's go ahead and just let this production begin. Um, I'm going to reject you regardless. Um, let's get these guys work on toasted now as well. And it's the morning shift. Let's hire one guy for morning shift. Zoe. You're going to get yourself a pretty hat and gloves. And when we can, when we can afford it, we'll get you a nice little new uh, shirt. There we go. All right. You get to work. We're not going to do any deliveries yet. So I need these guys up and running. All right, let's hire ourselves our next employee. You'll be working first shift doing all this as well. And Dylan, Dylan, here's your work uniform. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Make sure all the vehicles are set up. Yes. Random setups are good here. Where are we looking at up here? Um, let's get this production up and running. I wish the sprinkler systems were up and running because it'd be crazy good. All right. So we have 185 points. Let's get this for futures. And then let's just buy as much of the clothing items as we can afford. There we go. We need 75. And, uh, well, yeah, we need, uh, actually, let's see. We need 35, so we need 195 points extra on top of this. Okay. We should go faster now that we have, uh, toasted being created. Toasted's generate quicker so that's gonna help all right so let's start adding toasted to our uh, lineup got the arcade ready we got the showers oh yeah it's that time of day where yeah three four guys showering one guy's taking a nap somehow the shadows off right there is weird oh well Everything's rocking a three star set up there as uh, do we have toasted at the uh, laundromat yet. Yes, we officially have toasted here, so we're making more money off of that now. Um, that's good. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to slowly start probably moving these up as we get more room. Actually, how much room do we have? One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can't. We need literally one more line of availability to move this over. Eventually, I'm going to start moving the uh, warehouse up another. Actually, I can probably keep the same line for the warehouse. I'll just have to make it longer. Let me move the arcade and the bathroom the bedrooms up here once I expand this way and then we'll move the storage room out and then just to get to the main area you'll have to either walk the long way or just go cut through the warehouse which they're going to do they will cut through the warehouse because that's how they are so we have all this set up we have nothing in the other business yet which is okay all right, what do you guys want? You guys just want some basic? Mm, nope. You guys put me on the time limit, I might consider. Because now we're developing stock. Well, I could have probably just delivered that and not care. Because we actually have stock now. 
which is amazing. Probably on the next uh, setup, we'll probably add a second uh, engineer to fix stuff up. This room's getting kind of busy. The big build is going to be in this corner later as we expand out as we're going to it's going to be a slightly larger build. Probably not because I can probably add humidifiers all around for the uh, Amazonians. And then we'll just have them share everything. Because we got a quite the line over here usable product. Now, I kind of wish they, uh, you know, put some orders in, but they have not put any orders in. Kind of sad. How's our stock over here looking? So everybody's still... Because we're overstocked. I'm going to finally get rid of some product, which normally you never want to do, but I'm just going to do this. I'm crazy. Because I kind of want to, you know, clean up the storeroom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm not going to actually set up a specific pattern for these because if there's product on the vehicle and they can't bring it in, they just leave the vehicle there. And I, I want a seamless setup. So we're going to make sure that they have that. I don't want these vehicles stuck here for a week just because they can't stock a shelf. I think we might start looking into expanding this business because right now we have so much product here that we don't need to deliver there technically. So I might start delaying these deliveries a bit more by having one vehicle come here and one vehicle go to another establishment. So we're going to need like 10 grand for that, but... For now, that's actually a pretty decent demand we have. Um, what is the demand at the laundromat right now? 12 people at a time? That's not bad. I have humidifiers. Don't be saying it's cold. This is too hot. And you're chilling in that freaking crazy place. So we got vehicles. We have everything being delivered out. We got lots of stock. Hmm. Looking good there with the uh, other items coming out. Let's just jump back over. Add those. Did I add those last two shelves. No. Let's add those shelves in. There. So that's good there. Okay. I think it's time for us to do a uh, another time skip and start uh, expanding this business out because we got a lot of stock in the back end with uh, yeah nowhere for it to go and I'm and we have too much stock at the laundromat so I think it's time for us to think about expanding out to a second laundromat somewhere. All right, we are back. We got about $5,000 and we've already purchased our nice little plot of land over on Oak Lane. Let's go ahead and start slowly building it as I'm making money throughout the day. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, done. That's my bathroom. Let's 
missing something. Two more over in it. Yep, it's two more over. Both are it. There you go. Let me start sending the stuff there while I start working on the rest of this. Okay. So we got a thousand, so let's just start working on the small stuff first. Like stuff that don't break on us. Like that. registers okay. store room you guys want mm. we'll add you to the queue for now but that's it okay Door back there. That's, I think it's over this laundromat. Oh, ho, there's some money coming out oh, now. Yes, keep sending me customers. Yeah, that. Let's go ahead and put the candy machines here and here. That's the candy ones at the doors, right? Yep. Then we move over there, there. Okay. New stands. <laughs> okay, let's change routes. You will no longer go here, but go here. <laughs> mm, we're gonna hire one worker. I'm gonna do both of these, and I need to give him a door to go through, so. Let's build our first main door. Um, can you show up to work? Stock those shelves, please. I can just get one guy per shift for now. The stock shells and at least start making some money. I got another employee. I can. What do you want? Oh, uh, yeah. Wedges at the queue. How's the first one doing? Okay. So both vehicles are still working. I got have a guy coming to work at this point. There we go. Got three schedules, right? Yep, third shift is the guy to fix the stuff. Which we don't need yet. Oh, geez. We have money. So, um... Uh, yeah, you're fired. I don't need you. Um, okay. We got a person each shift to handle this. Okay. 
You can you guys can go stock stuff for now. Okay, um, I think this was the next customer. Oh god, auto save. Come on, thank you. He just shows up to work and goes home. My engineer's gonna be so bored. He's gonna be standing there just like fixing two things all night. Which is fine. Which is fine. I'm actually half tempted to open this place up in the morning. With nothing in there. Be the worst laundromat ever. But it will work. Yeah, our engineer's got nothing to do. <sighs> you know, why not? Let's just open up this horrible laundromat because we got product for them to sell in the morning. That's all that matters. Horrible excuse for a laundromat. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, geez. Nope. We got to send these guys somewhere else now. Uh, let's start sending you guys back to the scrapyard for now. We have uh, a lot of points. Uh, we can basically buy everything we don't need at this point. Oh, done. All right. There you go. That's all said and done. So... This is going to be a very interesting laundry man in the morning. I'm just saying. <laughs> a very, very interesting laundry mat. Yeah, we got tons of product here. Not so much here, though. Okay, so this one's Scrapyard, Church Lane. This is Oak Lane, Scrapyard, okay. We don't need any more points being used in the university. But I do have to say, I do have plenty of points in case they unlock stuff in the future for me. So much money being wasted. Oh well. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for your first day of operations? I don't think you're ready for this. <laughs> For how dumb this is about to get. Because things are about to get very dumb. Very quickly. And we already made some money. Start off by expanding our bathrooms. So let's get a door in here. Stall, stall, stall. Sink, sink. Actually, how's the layout over here? I remember having a very nice layout here. Those three stalls. And then, okay, yeah. I remember I had a layout I liked over there, the other store. Worst <laughs> laundromat ever. Now I'm gonna show up like at this laundromat, like, why? And it's all the broken stuff, too. All the contaminated goods. Super speed dryer and super speed washer. One chair for each of y'all. 
and a secondary door for you to use. Good one. There we go. Hey guys, want uh, time limit? Sure. If it will let me. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Worst <laughs> laundry mat ever. The bathroom's too big. Everything's too big. <laughs> Nothing makes sense about your laundry mat. I don't care. <laughs> well, I do. <sighs> uh, Did I overextend everything one? Yeah, I did. I will. I'll just have a little walking room in the middle. So I've already invested it. Actually, if I shrink it down, I can make more money. Oh, I can build more. All right, let's move this over one. This over one. Sell this guy. Shrink everything here. Put the door back here. Rebuild the storeroom. Put the shelves back in. Bathroom. Let's just finish building you out. Okay, so that's good to go. Um, Y'all got some product, which is better than no product. I guess we'll live with that. Where's the humidifier at? Actually, it's the large aircon. There we go. So we got everything in here, except for machines, which can take time. Not bad for a three-star product building. Still on day one, so I can work on getting more employees. Time to set these guys up. What's the premise of this thing look like? By tomorrow at least. leave it like that for now so our product is finally 
skewing down, which is interestingly decent. All right. We'll, uh, we'll have this guy head out. For that one. We'll make exit and cloudy eventually. Excellent cloudy too, eventually. But for now, we're stuck in these buildings, which is all that matters. Businesses are closed. Both of these. At any one time, I can have three people, but that's going to increase tomorrow. I can go up to 14 people now, which is fine. Yeah, these are broken. That's fine. That's what our engineers are for. They will fix everything between hours. Everything could break in here, too, which is fine. That's what our engineers are for for tomorrow. Oh, why do you guys keep dropping stuff? Ah, stop dropping things. Like the world's clumsiest, clumsiest employees, I swear. That's my products can destroy because of these people. And y'all just stand here all night because you ain't gonna do anything. Very much nothing. All right, let's see. Has this updated to our stats yet? I don't think they update until midnight. Let's see what they look like at midnight. Come on, a few more seconds. Okay, eight people. Which means I've already set myself up for eight people. Good. So we are set up for our first day of business. That doesn't look like our default machine, though. Yeah, that's a normal machine. Yeah, we're going to have to sell and get rid of that because. And then oh, we need to get a full washing machine in here. 360. OK, we'll add a washing machine in the morning. An actual washing machine, not that's slow stuff. Should be enough interactables in here for them, though. Well, hey, never mind. We just made a sale. So I can add that washer in there. There we go. Add another dryer. I can live without a shelf for the day. All right, let's check how everything's working over here. Oh, geez. We're finally reached our limit on stock. Oh, we did do a lot of deliveries just now, so I'm not surprised. Uh, how are we doing at Scrapyard? 142 points. Um, let's buy that. What do you want? Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, think on that. And we can probably pull that off. So we already have half a shipment right there. So if these guys can get another shipment in, we're good. Yep, can't help you guys, buddy. Yep, yep. Nope. Can't help you. That's pretty sad, but they're playing video games, so that should cheer them up. Or not. That's just so miserable anymore. I might actually upgrade eventually to an actual staff room, not an arcade. Well, yeah. That's how it works. Y'all never hungry, though. We're 7 a.m. Let's see how it works over between these two places. I'm seeing my numbers going crazy. Yeah, because we're selling product really fast at these two places. Okay, let's add the last two machines here, and then this laundromat will be complete. There we go. Enough for, uh, for 12 capacity at this place. And this one's 
12 capacity plus a few more machines. So at this point, we just need to hire uh, three more employees and this place will be set to go. Or actually, lots more employees. Yeah, so. Three guys running stock only. What am I missing here? All products available. Oh. It has to take a while to kick in. Should have everything. So we got first shift. Second shift. And then we need a hire for third shift. Just two guys. And they will just be stocking. Well, they can do registers too. There we go. Y'all having a party tonight, huh? Well, let me see how our guys are doing over here at the factory. Mm, no, nah, we'll hold back for now. We don't have enough for your shipment at the moment. Okay. Our guys are working quite nicely at the speed, though. Now that I have two stores, it's gonna be a little rougher for them, especially with their turnaround times. Scrapyard. Looks like we need about a couple hundred more. We're making good money now. What do you guys want? Um, ooh, you're timed. Yes. Yes. You are worth the investment in time, so we're going to do it. Okay. All right, let's check on these businesses, see how they're doing. It's getting close to nine, 1900, so machines can start breaking, no problem. Those machines are okay, too. Do one big change for these shifts. No, no, just having one stocker per shift works. Okay. All right, we're doing good there. I think the next thing we'll do is probably wait until we get the money, expand out again, hire more workers, and uh, maybe open a another laundromat in the next episode and start prepping for maybe just expansion like getting two more expansions out so we can get more vehicles so we'll have basically a two vehicles for basic two vehicles for toasted and then we'll just have two vehicles for floating which means we'll have to actually expand twice so instead of building a third laundromat i think we'll just stick with two just work from there. Ah, oh, there's your teammate. I was like, can I hire enough people yet? Yep. Okay, so yeah. The next shift will be shortened later. These guys are working great. So I think we're going to call it a sesh there. In the next episode, we'll probably uh, start working on like, expanding our uh, delivery empire. So we can do basic deliveries and still have floaters. And then start prepping towards uh, maybe doing Amazonians next for uh, a future episode. But I will see you guys in the next one.